Did you know that when you support your arches with custom orthotics, orthopedic shoes, or over-the-counter foot inserts, you are actually throwing off the timing at which your knees and your hips absorb shock. It can be any type of shoe insoles, whether it's for flat feet or pronation. All of them are going to throw off the timing at which your foot, your knee, and your hip absorb shock. In this video, I'll show you the reasons why custom orthotics eliminate your foot's ability to initiate shock absorption. Remember this, your body's ability to pronate, also known as your body's ability to absorb shock, starts with your feet. Whether you have flat feet, over pronate, or you have high arches, your feet still have to react to the ground. And when you have orthotic insoles underneath your feet, custom orthotics bring the ground up to meet your feet and support your arches, which means that now your feet are not only reacting to the ground, they're also reacting to the arch support that's underneath your feet. The woman you see here more than likely doesn't have orthotic insoles in her shoes. What she does have is a running shoe that's in the category with the most support. So the end result is similar to if her feet were forced to function with custom orthotics. If you watch closely, you'll see that her feet are not initiating shock absorption. Instead, her feet are forced to underpronate. But when you're told that you're breaking in your orthotic or there's a break-in period for your orthotics, you're really not breaking in the orthotics. You're actually breaking in your feet and breaking in your body, and it's called a workaround or compensation. If your body can't compensate in a way that allows you to go forward with the custom orthotics, you're actually lucky. Whereas when your feet do break in or your body breaks into the orthotics, now you're going forward with feet that are weaker. And it's important to recognize they were already weak before you added those custom orthotics to your shoe. So your orthotics aren't being broken in, it's your body that's being broken in, and that's why you're told that. Because over time, that body can adjust or adapt to what's underneath your feet, but it's always important to recognize that your feet were weak for you supported your arches, which means that when you support your arches or bring the ground up to meet your feet with the custom orthotics, you're actually making your feet weaker. And not only your feet, you're actually making the entire chain weaker. And that's also important to recognize because ultimately custom orthotics are throwing your feet in the wrong direction at the wrong time. So at a time when your feet are supposed to be initiating shock absorption, your feet are actually not able to initiate shock absorption which throws off your knees and your hips all the way up in your back, all the way up in your neck. In fact, there's evidence to show that when it comes to heel pain, also known as plantar fasciitis, there's no difference between custom orthotics and the less expensive over-the-counter arch support insoles. If you feel the information I presented in this video was helpful and informative, hit the like button. When you're fitted for custom orthotics, the expert's intention is to get your foot into a position where it is in a neutral position. If you aren't familiar with a neutral position, in the frame, the heel bone is in a neutral position. As you're about to see, it's this thought process that wreaks havoc on the timing at which your foot moves. The reason why the experts feel it's appropriate to fix your heel in a neutral position is because all the other joints in your foot follow what your rear foot does. To give you another visual of what a neutral foot looks like, your Achilles tendon, also known as your heel cord, is positioned in such a way as to fix the distal tendon of your soleus and your gastrocnemius in a position where the heel cord is straight relative to the heel. To reinforce what I mentioned earlier, because the remaining joints throughout your foot follow what your heel does, fixing the foot in a neutral position forces the foot to go in a direction that is away from the air where you feel pain. As mentioned before, when your foot is in an environment where it can't move beyond a neutral position, your leg that is a component part of your knee is unable to follow what your foot does. So in other words, rather than your foot pronating, your foot is forced to underpronate, also known as supination. In an environment where there's no arch supports, the arch of your foot would be able to flatten out to initiate shock absorption. With custom orthotics underfoot, your talus is unable to follow your heel, so of course, your lower leg can't follow your talus. The ground reaction forces that can't be dissipated by your foot and knee have to go somewhere. 
To debunk what you may have heard about custom orthotics from someone who happens to sell foot orthoses, orthotics don't slow down pronation. Instead, custom art supports eliminate pronation. Custom art supports are designed to drive your feet away from the pain that you feel in your heel as an example. This doesn't only apply to plantar fasciitis. The pain can be anywhere. No matter how strongly an expert feels about the value of custom orthotics, principles still apply. Whether an expert who sells orthotic insoles chooses to acknowledge it or not, the fact remains, on planet Earth, the ground is going to do what the ground does, which is to punch your foot from the bottom up. And of course, gravity is going to do what gravity does, which is to pull down. The bottom line, custom orthotics add insult to injury. To put what you just heard into perspective, if increasing compensation were the goal, the best way to reach that goal is to go through the world with custom orthotics underneath your feet. Instead of allowing for anti-fragility, Custom orthotics take more than they give. If you feel the information I presented in this video was helpful and informative, hit the like button. And stick around to watch more videos where I cover tips on plantar fasciitis.